Bitch, when she became a new parent, that's when losing the power became much more concerning. I had just given birth and I was breastfeeding. I had my whole freezer full of breast milk, and so I panicked. I think was able to save her milk bank by not opening her freezer. Good advice for a shorter outage. But if you lose electricity for days or even weeks, Consumer Reports has some tips to keep you safe and as comfortable as possible. And it all starts with your cell phone. A cell phone is a lifeline because it's what you're going to use to contact friends, family, or emergency responders in the event of an emergency, so it's imperative that you keep it fully charged. Switch the phone to a power-saving setting, such as airplane or low-power mode, and use the phone only when necessary. As a backup, write down important phone numbers and addresses you might need, such as the nearest hospital, a storm shelter, or other public places that might have power. Consumer Reports food safety experts say your unpowered refrigerator can keep food at a safe temperature below 40 degrees for about four hours if you don't open the door. And a full freezer's worth of food will stay frozen for approximately 48 hours if the door remains closed. If you do lose food, check with your insurer. Many homeowners insurance policies will cover the replacement cost of spoiled food in the case of a power outage. And a crucial reminder. Running a generator improperly can kill you in minutes because of the high concentration of carbon monoxide. When you're using a generator, the most important thing to do is never run it inside the house or in a garage. You want it as far from the house as possible, a minimum of 20 feet, and make sure that the exhaust is directed away from windows and doors. As for Eileen Carpio, she's considering a generator for future outages. With all the power outages that we've been through now that the winter's coming, we would definitely consider a generator. And if it looks like you're going to be stuck in the dark for a while and the power isn't going to come on anytime soon, FEMA recommends that you find a place to go that does have power and either heat or AC, depending on the season, and that it's safe to get there, that the roads are passable and you can get there safely. And when you do go, make sure you take a go bag with you that has everything you need to be away from home for a couple of days, including any necessary medications. Jennifer Krause, News Channel 5.